Postman team introduced in the version 6.2 something that it's called session or maybe session variables you can see that term as well and what sessions provide you is to give you an additional layer when working with variables and I think it's best to jump straight into Postman and show you what this actually means. If you have the latest version of Postman or version newer than 6.2 then every time when you're working with variables, you will see that the panels themselves have changed. So if I inspect this environment here that I have selected, you will see here that the overview looks a bit different than it previously used to do. And this is now the standard way on how variables are displayed. And you will see here that you will have multiple columns. One column will say initial value and the second column will say current value. And initially it may be that they have the exact same value and you're probably wondering, well, what should I do now? How should I change this information? And it's pretty simple. The Postman team introduced this feature because most of the time when you're working with collections, with variables, with environments and so on, you're probably not working alone. And you see that in this case, I have here like very sensitive information that are connected to my account. So you have this authentication key and this token. And if somebody has access to them, can actually access my account. And of course, after this video, I will remove them. So don't worry. But generally, if you're working in a team, you do not want to share such information with others. And if I go and export this information, I will export this information as well. So this has been in the past always a problem exporting such information that is sensitive in that is locally in a sense that you do not want them to leave your computer. And this is something that has now changed in Postman and it is possible to keep some values only for yourself and don't worry and not to worry about them when you're sharing your collection. So what will happen if I want to now share this environment, all I have to do is go here in this edit mode and for the initial value, and you will have here information that what is the initial value, this value is shared with your team when you share this variable in a collection environment or globals and blah, blah, blah. And the current value is actually the value that is used in Postman. So if I say here, something like your key and your token. I would simply update it. When I will be exporting this environment, the person who will be importing this will not see this value. So this information will be kept only for me, what's under current value. And the initial value is the exact information that they will be seeing. And so then you, they will see that, oh, I have to input here my key and token. And, but the other information will still be available, for example, so I can still easily share other details that from my point of view are not confidential. So what's happening, for example, now is that if I hover here over Trello key, you will still see the value that I have. So Postman always works with the value that you see under current value. And the initial value is only used for exporting. So let's see now what happens if you add a new variable. So if we add a new variable, let's call it my variable. Now if I input here the initial value, let's see if it's a test. And update it. You probably already noticed the initial value has been transferred to the current value almost in instantly. But if I change the current value and say my test, the initial value will not change anymore. And again, if I'm sharing this environment with somebody, they will only see test here. To sum it up, this is all that has changed when working with variables, but from this point of view of working by using the interface. Now, let me give you an example to see what happens with variables if you are now using it in, inside scripts. So every time you set a variable inside the script, so let me create here a new request and I will set a global variable or set an environment variable. 
all this new var and I'm gonna give it a value say it has value of 1 if I run the collection you'll see that this variable will show up here and here but remember every time postman looks up this variable it will use the value that is here under current value now if there if this is something that you do not want to s automatically save under the initial value you can disable that as well so for example I have some local details like board name that are will variables that are automatically generated when running the collection or variables that are used to pass data from one request to the other and maybe they are not really worth sharing or they value themselves doesn't mean a lot so in this case this board ID this is something that's only associated with my account and it won't make sense to share it with others and if this is generally something that you do not want to do there's a setting that you need to change so if we now go to settings you will see here in the under general that you have this additional information here so automatically persist variable values and I think we're gonna turn it off now to see how it works and I'm gonna close it and let's create here or let's simply delete this variable that we just added and let's rerun the request now if I'm inspecting my variables I will see that this one has no initial value so it has been created current value is still one as we set it but the initial value doesn't exist which means that when I'm exporting this collection this information will not be available there and everything that I showed here I have showed it by using this example of environment environments and environment variables but the same applies to global variables or if you're using collection variables which are hidden right here same principle applies everywhere you will see initial value and current value I know this is this might seem a bit confusing in the beginning but I'm sure you will get used to it and especially if you're working inside a team this is something that you will be definitely interested in learning and applying and not sharing all this maybe sensitive information with everybody worrying all the time oh I need to delete this I need to change that I need to change that so with this postman update it will be much easier to collaborate with others and share really only the information that you think is relevant for sharing thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video and you think you learned something new please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions just leave a comment in the section below and I'll be more than happy to help I'm regularly posting videos on APIs, Postman, continuous integration, automation and so on. So if you're interested in such tutorials, just click the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.